drinking boat on $2 trillion of reckless spending that juiced this inflation crisis and sent a lot of money to China. Well, I don't think we should send money to China. I think we ought to keep it right here at home. which was really the Inflation is a Disaster Act, she cast the deciding vote to trigger the worst affordability crisis in generations. And at the same time, she said that high gas prices were, quote, the price to pay for democracy. A woman who's never heard a vote for President of the United States. That's the price for democracy. That's not the price for democracy, my friends. It's the price we paid for her failed leadership. Ban offshore drilling, take away your gas cars, and by the way, I think an American you ought to be able to drive wherever the hell you want to. Because <laughs> country 
is closing our border, not opening it up.
So I remember he came over to our house and started to walk up the steps to her porch. And she said, look, if you step one more foot on my porch, I'm going to blow that thing off. <laughs> she had 19 handguns at home, so that was not an idle threat. <laughs> but that strength and that discipline allowed me to achieve my dreams. And things worked out for me because we love our country. It's a great country because there are women like them all, all over this country, making sure. And this goes to the point about Kamala Harris's failures. I remember the reason my mom raised me is because my mom struggled with addiction for a big chunk of my early life. And I, I'm proud to say that she has been clean and sober for almost 10 years now. So
of the media likes to lie about this movement and this party, this movement of ours is about a simple idea. We love this country enough, and we will never give up hope, and we will never stop fighting for a better future. to re-elect the guy who already did it and did it very well, Donald J. Trump.